Will there be juice this for fall, or even spring 2018? The Yankees offseason started off with a George Steinbrenner era blockbuster trade, slugger Giancarlo Stanton switching Marlins teal for Bronx pinstripes, but it's been a mostly cold stove winter for Yankee fans, especially now that Pirates right-hander Jarrett Cole is headed to the World Series champion Astros. If Bombers general manager Brian Cashman does not make a trade to acquire another starter to the rotation entering spring training, perhaps heralded Yankee pitching prospect Justice Sheffield gets his chance to break into the baby Bombers fold this season, alongside Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez and Clint Frazier. I'm hoping, definitely hoping. Any player would be lying if they say they wouldn't want to be in the big leagues tomorrow, says Sheffield, the touted lefty who was traded from the Indians to the Yankees in the 2016 Andrew Miller deadline deal. The Bombers also got stud outfield prospect Frazier then as well as two other players. Frazier, 23, cracked the Yankee lineup last season and played in 39 games, while proving he can handle major league pitching. But with the acquisition of Stanton, the red-headed Frazier is now a sixth outfielder on the club, and would appear to be the player Cashman would include in a package for another pitcher, if any such deal crystallizes. Sheffield is also possibly another trade ship. Sheffield says he keeps in touch regularly with Clint Frazier, they roomed together in Tampa during 2017 Yankees spring training, and the Southpaw adds that while he can't speak for Frazier, Sheffield has been able to tune out the white noise. I've already been through it, so I know how the process goes, says Sheffield. All the stuff you read on Twitter, it's just rumors. As players, if it happens, it happens. Just let the chips fall. I don't really have anything to do with the front office. I have to be the best justice I can be. I'm definitely anticipating a big year. Of Stanton, Sheffield says, I'm glad he's on the Yankees now and I don't have to face him. Reinhold Matei, USA Today Sports Sheffield was having a good 2017 season with a double-A Trenton Thunder until an oblique injury sidelined him for most of the remaining regular season. He was 7-6 with a 3.18 era with the Thunder, starting 17 games striking out 82 batters in 93.1 innings pitched. That was the first time I've been on the DL, says Sheffield of the disabled list stint. That was a tough one. I knew my season was over with. That one sucked. I was close with all the guys in AA, real close. We really wanted to win a title. Not being able to be out there with the guys, just being reduced to a cheerleader, that WASNT me. Sheffield did come back to pitch in September and he was 0-1 in two Thunder playoff games. Sheffield, 21, says the oblique injury has healed and that he has had no further issues with it this winter. Sheffield pitched in the Arizona Fall League. He was 2-2 with a 3.10 error over 20.1 innings with the Scottsdale Scorpions, though he got hit by a line drive in his final start. Cashman told the Daily News' John Harper recently that Sheffield is an easy guy to dream on, which may bode well for his Yankee future. The Tullahoma, Tennessee product says he's been working out this winter at Vanderbilt University in Nashville. Sheffield had committed to Vanderbilt before electing to enter the 2014 amateur draft when he was selected by the Indians with the 31st overall pick. His older brother Jordan, a Dodgers pitching prospect, attended Vanderbilt. Justa says Jordan has joined him in the Vandy workouts, and that they've crossed paths with one of Justa's idols, Red Sox ace David Price, another Vanderbilt alum. Justice says he's picked Price's brain, and that on the Yankees, lefty C.C. Sabathia has been a wealth of advice and encouragement. Justice says he texts with Sabathia all the time. Now Sheffield is hoping that those conversations with Sabathia and the other current Yankee starters will unfold in the clubhouse at Yankee Stadium and other major